insert his uh, his butterfly hook okay now if, if his opponent's lazy and he doesn't keep his knee high you can just simply try caught up and start to exactly insert that butterfly hook but most good people are going to be keeping this tight so when he tries to insert this butterfly hook it's going to be hard so what i'm going to have nick do is i'm going to have him switch his head back out so he's looking towards me again and i'm going to look to have him start sprawling this right leg down Yep, good. But he's, he's probably going to, if he's good, he's probably going to try and keep that butterfly hip. Good. Now, he's just going to start moving down his opponent's body. He's going to start walking his hips out and down. Okay? And what, he's, what you see this doing is he's bringing his Isaac's knee much lower. Okay? But now that his knee is pretty much on the mat, when Nick goes to insert this butterfly hook, it's going to become, become much easier. Okay? If you have long enough arms as well, and you still have that long arm, short arm, you can even use your elbow to help pin his knee to the mat, okay, by bringing it inside of his hip. So that when Nick goes to insert and Isaac tries to follow, it's very difficult. Now, once you insert this butterfly hook, I'm going to have Nick take a big step with this leg out in this direction, and he's going to switch his head back across to the other, to his far shoulder, okay? The reason for this is because, sorry, go back. If he stays in this position and Isaac elevates with this butterfly hook, he'll start to off-bounce Nick in this direction and force him to unlock his hands. So go back. So as soon as you insert this butterfly hook, once again, your head switches across to the far shoulder, pins it, and you take a big step out in this direction so you bring Isaac's hips flat. Now when Isaac tries to come onto his side and elevate, it's very difficult. Now all Nick's going to look to do is he's going to start to extend this leg and, and raise his hips off the mat. Now, he's going to start cutting his right knee across, and he's going to sprawl his right hip down on this side of the mat towards me. He starts to back step, and he sprawls his hip to end in side control. So let's go through it one more time. So, he gets his body lock, he manages to get over his opponent's knee. From here, his knee comes down, and uh, his head transfers across. Okay, This is just to initially control the position and make sure that Isaac doesn't post his knee and regain his knee back so that we're back in butterfly guard. Now, once he wants to start passing, he switches his head across and he starts sprawling this right hip down. And he starts moving down his opponent's body. Okay, What this does is it now brings Isaac's uh, knee down towards the mat and makes it much easier to pummel in this left butterfly hook. Good. Now, as soon as you pummel in this butterfly hook, your head transfers back across to the far shoulder and you take a big step up in this direction. So it pins Isaac's shoulder, and it makes his hips come flat. So when he tries to elevate this butterfly hook, it feels like it's useless. Now, he's just going to start tripoding up, raising his hips. His right knee is going to start cutting across, and he's just going to sprawl his right hip down to end in side control for the pass. So we'll go through it one last time. You're in butterfly guard, you get to your body lock. Next step, he gets over his opponent's knee. Yep, and transfers his head across. Now, once he, he felt like uh, Isaac has settled down, he, he stopped trying to 
get back to a butterfly guard. He can now start switching his head across and sprawling his right leg down. Good. And even from here, his, Isaac's leg's so elongated that if he were to try and get his, uh, his knee back now, it'd be very difficult because of that sprawling motion that Nick is doing. Now from here, now that he's brought Isaac's knee down towards the mat, it becomes much easier to start pummeling in, pummeling in this butterfly hook. As he does this, his head switches across back to, towards the far shoulder and he steps his uh, right leg up. Now, he starts to raise his hips, his knee starts to come back out and around, and then once he gets to this position, he sprawls his right hip down, and when Isaac tries to follow him with the butterfly hook, it becomes very difficult. Now, he squares his hips up, and you end in side control. Let's give it a shot, one, two, three. body lock, he's struggling to step over the knee, so he's going to hook it with his bottom leg. He sits his weight on it, so it's difficult for the training partner to retract their knee to their chest. With that, Nick steps over as shallow as he can, and he guides that knee he steps over in line with their spine. And that's what's going to help kill their left butterfly hook. So Nick switches head position and walks that knee straight, and he's really getting his left knee deep in. He's going to do a pass off with his right foot, and it creates a shelf underneath his left Achilles. He applies hip pressure here and takes a high underhook. And now they really can't do anything. They really can't get up. They can't turn back in because they'll put pressure on their knee. But very, very easy for Nick to step to mount there. We pin the lower half so that our upper body's free to the rest of the path. Six. <laughs> Hey guys, Nick Ortiz, uh, B-Team facility. We had uh, the returning Nicky Ryan this morning teaching us body lock passing, which is really dope. Pretty much one of my weakest uh, situations that I get into. I don't really have body lock passing, so I'm happy to have Nicky Ryan back. And then uh, today at noon, uh, Craig is piggybacking more so off of what Nicky Ryan taught and giving his little uh, details and nuances to the uh, body lock passing. So I'm pretty much happy. I'm happy that I'm learning something new. Hopefully you guys, when you guys come to the B-Team facility, you feel the same way about just learning these new details and uh, pretty much feeling more immersed in the art the same way that I do at this very moment. So looking forward to seeing more people coming in, more people training here. And uh, if you're interested more so in, in me and teaching and uh, if you want to have me available for private seminars, whatever, just reach out to me at uh, Nick Ortiz Jiu Jitsu 718 on Instagram or yeah, Nick Ortiz Jiu Jitsu 718 on Instagram.
lot of people in the same time. Same with skating. Uh, <laughs> 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 well, uh, oh, no.